So today I'm gonna fix a laptop, but it won't be the first time. This is going to be like a millionth time from this customer I get. And the first time they bought, uh, I don't know, some sort of a charger or something, but finally, this time they bought the original HP and it finally works. Uh, I was kind of really surprised since the laptop had a dodgy uh, connector for the power supply and it didn't work at all. Uh, it couldn't boot and even my internet went down when I connected it to the power, power source. So I don't know what happened there. So right now uh, it won't boot. There's a blue screen and... I need to take it apart to take the hard drive out and this is really really bugging me again I really hate that I don't know why I'm doing this and I'm doing this for free so here we go I already removed the stupid keyboard and uh, I don't know these are some sort of a I don't know, they're not speakers, here are the speakers, I don't know what did they do here or something like that. So I need to deassemble everything again and there's like a million screws here and I have to remember every single one of them where they goes and the HP model is ProBook 4710S so apart from the other HPs this one is really really getting on my nerves it's 17 inch wide screen and I don't know and I don't know what to do because some screws are so 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 stupid and you have to deassemble everything I mean when I say everything you have to remove the whole top part of it and then you get to the hard drive and that's really annoying I mean most of the laptops today you have everything you just remove the bottom cover and you get the access to everything so I'm removing this now and I don't know how to fucking and I don't know how to oh, here we go of course connected so that's the touchpad the stupid HP touchpad that's connected to everything and you have this flat cable that connects so finally we have here the hard drive now thank god that's easy to access but I don't know who designed this one because come on really placing a hard drive beneath your beneath your palm it heats up even though it's if if it was a new laptop it would heat up or something like that I don't know and it has this screw with a spring and yeah here we go it's still one budge I know I opened this one before and I asked the person did we do a backup since it already broken, broken, they bought a new one. She said no. So here you go. Your files are here. Oh, I want to destroy this one. This is really getting on my nerves. Now I have to shut down my PC connected to SATA connector because, of course, I don't have a portable uh, SATA disk station or whatever because I don't want to invest in this in this stuff because I, I'm really sick of fixing these lame computers that are really really always getting broken and Windows is never working and I don't know I I do everything perfectly as I do on my PC my PC works extremely good these PCs always always go to hell I don't know why so I'm going to connect this HD HDD sorry HDD to my computer gonna back up everything and then reinstalling the windows so <sighs> that's gonna be all nighter 
might as well get that case because now I have to open this thing and I open this thing as well and I have to somehow do not remove the graphic card because I don't want to do that and to place it well I don't know if you can see it here on the SATA ports uh, I honestly hate when there's SATA ports on the front side uh, on the side if they're not like just like I don't know straight so I have to do that I know it's kind of messy here but I don't know what to do so uh, let's see if I find those extra cables that I need I need the SATA port uh, SATA cable and I need and I need not the power supply so oh, look it's already here I got it all thank God for that so let's see how it all fits let me just turn on the light okay so this goes here hopefully okay, and now for the SATA cable hopefully I don't mess things up again <laughs> when I say again I already did and something didn't boot on my PC so that was really annoying I almost freaked out but since I know how to fix their PCs it would be really strange not to fix mine so I don't think I have to say anything about this. Let's see. To be honest, I'm really afraid if my computer now is going to boot. All connected. Let's hope it works. It did start. Okay, the boot signal is on. Let's see now. And no, it's not booting. Psst. Oh yeah, sorry it is. Let's see. Oh my god, so many documents. Oh look, Game of Thrones, Minecraft. Ugh, so many mo I'm not gonna back that up. Let's see if... Oh, cool. It has drivers, so I don't have to download that again. And the, the, the documents on C. Come on, really, people. I did create them two partitions, C and D. And D was... I told them for documents, just in case this stuff happens, so I don't have to back up stuff again. And unfortunately, I have to, because people don't listen or they don't know. Or they don't even care. I don't know. I'm really, I'm really angry about this. But as I can see, everything is okay. No documents on C. So let's take that HD out. Come on, come on. So now you can see everything. Uh. Okay. 
nothing broke just so you know but these small screws are really really getting on my nerves and uh, to be honest I bought new screwdrivers I don't know when for about 15 pounds or I don't know 20 euros or something like that and they don't have magnetic head to pin the screws on it so I'm practically praying every time I place them not to fall in the holes or anything like that three screws to hold the, the hard drive amazing really amazing okay so okay now it's going to start with the messages I need to take my dog to the vet she has a small flu so we need to get some injections or something I don't know how it's called so my girl is asking me if I've already been there but I haven't as usual easy peasy uh, now I only have to remember which one go where and I don't know again nothing broke okay so I placed the flat cable to the mo I connected the flat cable to the motherboard for the for the uh, touchpad uh, three screws for that to connect the plastic and I once had a situation with a laptop, I was disassembling for two hours, it was an old Toshiba or something like that and cleaned everything, I mean I removed every single plastic, 50 screws, I, uh, I not 50 but you know what I'm trying to say and I wanted to change the thermal grease for the processor, I did everything, uh, closed everything, I really did like a three hour job and after that turned on the laptop connected it to the power supply turned it on boot screen shows uh, press f1 to continue because your uh, fan on the cpu is not connected so what did i do i forgot to connect it then again another well this time i learned so another hour for disassembling it connecting the cpu vent and just losing four hours for nothing and where this off oh, right so of course the flat cable for the for the keyboard now I hate these connectors really because they are always something special with those and they're always too short so if they are connected wrong I hope I connected this one right because I don't want to open the laptop again. Put it here. Something's not right. two screws two so the keyboard fits in and the power button and the cover for the <coughs> speakers okay now for these screws I 
Here we go. So you have five more screws that you have to unwind to remove the first plate, then the keyboard, then the, then the touchpad. I mean, honestly, it really is get it's really getting on my nerves. I hope this is the last time I'm fixing this laptop. It's about like fifth or sixth time I'm doing this. I don't know what people are doing, but viruses and stuff and everything. And the Windows won't boot or something like that. I'm trying to do recovery every time, but every time it fails. So, I hope this is the last time they have a new one. But I don't know. I'm kind of skeptical about this fixing again and that's about it so guys here we have a finished pro book uh, nothing special about it just wanted to show you how I'm doing my job for fifth time in a row uh, in in one year I disassembled it five times already just because I need to take the hard drive one out and to do a backup thank god this time I didn't because last time I told them they have to put the documents on D so guys uh, that's about it and see you in my next video bye